Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1976 to listen to Mad Man Moon by Genesis. Uh, loving this album so far, A Trick of the Tale. Amazing, amazing songs, and I'm really excited for this one because I hear Tony has written this song and that there's a lot of piano and synth work going on, so you know what that does to me. Without further ado, let's check it out. Was it summer when the river ran dry? Or was it just another dam? When the evil of a snowflake in June Could still be a source of relief Oh, how I love you, I once cried long ago But I was the one who decided to go To search beyond the final crest Though I'd heard it said just by So high So I pretended to have wings for my arms And took off in the air I flew to places which the clouds never see Too close to the deserts of sand Where a thousand the shepherds of lies forced me to land and take a disguise. I would welcome a horse's kick to send me back if I could find a horse. Not me, a sad This stairs, it's all that ever be. Then tell me what becomes of me. For the rain, that must have been. Yeah, I better pause there so I can go back and hear more of Tony's glorious work. Wow. So, again, something different. Classic Genesis sounds throughout, but something different here. Such a mellow, beautiful, and sad song all at once. And you know I love the songs with multiple emotions, especially the ones that happen simultaneously. Wow. Glorious song. Phil's vocals. Glorious here. Amazing here. They're strong yet very soft, so gentle, so relaxing, so pleasing to the ear. And of course, Tony, as always, uh, especially in this kind of a song, he's shining. He's the star of this one for me. And uh, all the sounds are beautiful, amazing piano. But I think I heard uh, the Mellotron going on in the beginning, and that was gorgeous in itself. So as always, perfection from Tony, coupled with perfection from the rest of the band in every single way. 
So far, this has reminded me of two different things. I got a slight Carpenter's feel uh, with this song, especially in the beginning with some of those chords and uh, the chord progressions. I think maybe it's just the tone of the piano, the way they're using it. I don't recall a full piano used in too many of the songs I've heard from Genesis. And the second reference, you know, it kind of sped up a bit, I believe, in tempo. This amazing what sounds like a xylophone came on uh, in the right side and uh, that part reminded me of a uh, cinema show, you know, when that part speeds up with the uh, what I call Spanish type guitar. I think that's what it reminded me of. Very interesting. So we got some twists and turns going on here already. You know, I love that. I live for that in music, especially in Genesis music. And I have a feeling there's going to be lots more twists and turns because we're less than halfway done. So I'm really excited. I want to get right back into it. Here we go. So fast. Is this the dream sequence? What a storyteller with those fingers.
I was completely lost in that last section, and as always, went by way too quick. I could hear an hour of this for sure, 100% for sure. Wow, like I said, I was totally lost in the song, especially the second half. I uh, was so captivated by it, and it just took me into its world. Um, I think that's the most lost that I've gotten into a Genesis song thus far. Uh, just absolutely incredible, as you all told me. I had no doubts about that, though. Um, a few things I noticed. It seems like there's a dream sequence in this song. And, uh, you know, I noticed the change in music there. And I also noticed that Phil uh, changed his voice, his uh, vocal delivery, to match the character. I think he was playing the Sandman, if I'm not mistaken. And I love the contrast between, you know, the beginning glorious, beautiful, soft Phil vocals to the more uh, upfront, maybe less reverbed, um, you know, more, I don't know, gritty. That's probably not the right word, but you know what I mean. They're just more in a character, you know, not evil or anything, but just mysterious, more upfront in the character voice. And I really like that. Um, the fast section came back again and, you know, gets you upbeat again. You know, peaks and valleys again in this song. Maybe not so drastic, but they always do it to take your emotions to different heights and different lows. They give you just enough of that fast section and then it effortlessly transitions back into the slow, beautiful, calm uh, section again and I love that they ended that way. I actually got a bonus here because just when I thought the song ended, uh, you know, we get a little more uh, melody and I think just the piano was there at the end. Just an added bonus. Took the song out beautifully, perfectly. Uh, he's always impeccable in his playing no matter what he's doing, you know. That slow, gentle piano at the end or the fast piano and synth going on in the beginning and middle sections. I commented that his fingers were just so fast, so much magic going on, and, you know, he can do anything, and I just adore him for that. As usual, there's so much going on here. Can't get it all in one shot, especially when you just get lost in this dream. It's almost like I was dreaming, and so, you know, this is one that's going to take many, many, many listens to capture everything. Another gem, another piece of gold to uh, hold in my heart, you know, for the rest of my life and explore it further. And, you know, just so many of these, I can't believe how many of these they have. And I haven't even got to, you know, so many albums and so many songs. It's just incredible. It makes me so excited of what's to come. Anyway, I'm going to check out the lyrics and I'll be right back. So definitely another journey story, at least uh, metaphorically. To me, it's about a man who gave up something or someone he loved in search of something greater. Uh, his discovery is either failed or is not what he had hoped for, so he's left in a disappointing or even a desolate place as represented by that desert. Even though he's trapped in the desert, you know, he's still searching for more. He still wants something else. He still wants to be somewhere else. Uh, he wanted to be there, and then he became trapped, and now he wants to be in another place. Then it looks like he falls asleep, you know, thus that dream sequence that I was talking about. And the Sandman comes. Um, it's pretty vague, the message that I got from the Sandman. But, you know, the Sandman seems to give him some encouragement or maybe even some false hope. And I was just thinking about it. Maybe the Sandman is really himself, you know, the voice in his head speaking to himself, trying to give him advice. So a lot of questioning and soul searching going on in this one. But I think the whole moral is, and, you know, we've heard this a lot before in our lives, uh, the grass is always greener on the other side. We often crave a situation different from ours, uh, but be content with what you have because, you know, they say be careful what you wish for because it's probably not going to be what you expect, what you plan, what you hope for. So really inventive, imaginative lyrics here. I love that it's, you know, giving life advice, yet coupling it with this beautiful uh, imagery going on, you know, of the desert, of the moon, and lots of other nature images, and then pairing all that with gorgeous, beautiful peaceful, sad uh, music, you know, it's just incredible. The combination, you put it all together in a seven minute package and you just get heaven and you fall in love with a song like this, which I already have. Yet again, another beautiful, epic masterpiece by Genesis. Thank you so much, Tony, Phil, Steve, and Mike. And of course, I'm giving this one the Epic Platinum Record Award. Yes, Mad Mad Moon, Genesis 1976 from A Trick of the Tale.
All right, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat or just help to support the channel. Would really, really appreciate that and would love to know your favorite song off this album. I know there's so many epic albums, so many, so many songs by Genesis, but really uh, love uh, going through this one song by song. Excited for the last four and I've heard great things about them. So again, would love to know your favorite off this album. Anyway, you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I will see you next time in the past. Thank you.